it took me four years to get this signature. Not this one in particular, but this driver's signature. Yo, thank you, Daniel. What's happening everybody, my name is Grim and welcome back to another Formula 1 mini helmet video. In today's video, we're not going to be reviewing a helmet, but we're going to be reviewing a signature from this particular driver. And if you guys don't know who this driver is already, it is of course the 2007 Formula 1 world champion, Kimi Raikkonen. Now, in my personal experience and opinion, Kimi Raikkonen is the hardest signature you guys can possibly get in Formula 1. He is literally untouchable in the sense of getting his driver's signature. Now, I've spoken to a lot of people in the helmet game. I've spoken to a lot of people in the Formula 1 community when I'm at events, Formula 1 events, and every single person I've spoken to say Kimi Raikkonen is a complete mission to get. Now, there are obviously ways to get Kimi. I've got my own personal story and experience with Raikkonen, and I'll share it with you guys now. So, I started collecting 2014 signatures just by luck, and then obviously the mini helmets came out, and I started collecting mini helmets. Now, 2014 came and the drivers were walking into the paddock of the Australian Grand Prix. And back then, there was not a lot of people trying to get signatures, not signature hunting. And all of a sudden, Rosberg would rock up, Hamilton, Vettel, and of course, Kimi Raikkonen. So there wasn't a lot of people. And the first year in 2014, Kimi actually signed so many people. I was in shock. I got Raikkonen in books that year. Um... I got Raikkonen on like a Australian Grand Prix uh, mini helmet, like just random because I didn't really know what to collect, you know, back in the days when I first, first started getting signatures. And I got Kimi Raikkonen so many times. So later on that year, I ended up buying a 2015 Kimi Raikkonen Ferrari helmet. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this signed next year. So fast forward to the year after and Kimi Raikkonen was near impossible to get. I couldn't believe I didn't get Raikkonen. I was like, oh damn, like, he's actually super hard to get. I was chasing him for four days, Thursday to Sunday, couldn't get him. And what Kimi Raikkonen would do, he would come out, if he would come out to see the crowd, he would sign a few people, like two or three, and then just shoot off, skip everybody, sign two or three, and then shoot off straight to the paddock. You wouldn't even see him. Another thing Kimi Raikkonen would do is go through the back, way to the paddock, and skip every single fan and go straight in. So if you couldn't get him between him jumping out of his car and the 10 meter walk from the paddock, there was no chance of getting Kimi Raikkonen. I didn't know this back then. I didn't know where the back entrance was or how they would get to the inside the paddock without walking through. And I obviously figured it out now, but I had no clue. And I was like, where is this guy? I was waiting and waiting. I'd wait from Thursday to Sunday and Kimi Raikkonen wouldn't rock up. So it took me four years to get this particular signature from Kimi. And I finally got it on a Wednesday event back in 2019. Now, I was like, I know where to position myself. I'm like, I, you know, you start learning stuff about the signature game, where to stand, this and that, whatever. And obviously, like, they're trade secrets, right? But I figured out where I would have to stand to get the best opportunity to get Kimmy. And that was my priority that year to get Kimmy because Kimmy ended up leaving Ferrari the year before and then finally signed to stay with Alfa Romeo that year. And I was like, okay, fine. So Kimmy's. I got a couple years, I got a chance to get Raikkonen. So I had 2019, I was like, I need to get him. Lewis went past me, all the other drivers went past me. I got a signature from Bottas, actually. He's actually super hard to get to. But anyway, I positioned myself in a particular spot and my brother, who's part of my team that helped me get signatures, ended up being next to Raikkonen and getting it signed. Oh, shit. Oh, four years I've been waiting for the whole, oh my God, you're the best kid and i couldn't believe i couldn't believe the, like, the adrenaline rush because you waited four years to get a driver's signature off and just to finally get it that relief it's like oh damn like i did it it's like an accomplishment it's hard to explain like people that collect signatures understand and yeah so i, I finally got right and i couldn't believe i did it and <laughs> 
the, the the feeling of getting Kimmy on that helmet was just next level unbelievable. The adrenaline rush was absolutely awesome. I was buzzing for the rest of the weekend. That year in 2019 was probably my best year ever. Oh, I had a really good 2022. Sorry, 2023. I got pretty much every single driver I needed. And besides that, I 2019, I finally got the Raikkonen signed. So Kimmy signs, and then I never see him again. Thursday or Sunday that same year, couldn't see Raikkonen. He went through the back, and I was blessed to get Kimmy. The people were like, oh, I'm waiting for Raikkonen. And I'm like, I felt bad to tell him, yeah, I got him on the Thursday, on the Wednesday event. And they never done a Wednesday event again in Melbourne. So I was really blessed to get Kimi Raikkonen to sign that particular helmet. I'll go through the actual signature with you guys now. As you guys can see, this is a 2014 Kimi. One of my favorite pieces when Kimi returned to Formula 1's Ferrari team. And as you, can see the, as you guys can see on the signature, he does the flick. And he always puts a dot at the end of his um, signature. And on this side of the signature, just up here, you can see he does like a little flick. Uh, if, if you guys can see that, right? So I'll compare both the 2014 with his um, Alfa Romeo Sauber. Now, I got these two from DRM. Shout out to them. I link down below that's where I get my helmets from. They make a deal with Kimmy, I guess, and they get um, Kimmy to come sign visors and they sell it for like a signed version of this helmet. So these two are signed from DRM with the certificate of authenticity, limited number of pieces. And yeah, but the one that I was talking about, uh, it's, not, it's not really on me at the moment. So as you guys can see, comparing the signatures, you know what to look for, right? They're very similar. He does the two flicks, the flick on the first letter, and obviously the dot at the end. So, Kimi obviously has his particular way of how he signs. Me, um, well, does his signature. So, you don't want to get scammed if you are getting a piece online. Obviously, you want a certificate of authenticity or a photo proof or something of a driver signing if you are to buy something because there are a lot of scammers out there. So that's what the signature looks like from Kimi Raikkonen. Some of the hardest drivers you guys can get on the current grid is Fernando Alonso is actually really hard. I've got a few stories about him. Lewis Hamilton's pretty hard, like actually super, super hard. After 2020, he's become like super hard to get his signature. And of course, Max Verstappen, the more popular he's getting um, and more championships and race wins he's getting, he's getting hard as well. The other drivers are pretty manageable. I can do a video of who the hardest driver signatures to get of this current grid is in another video. Yeah, and in the past, other drivers that were super, super hard to get were from word of mouth, from talking to people, was Michael Schumacher. He was really hard to get a signature from him. Mark Webber's super hard to get because he doesn't like signing people's um, autographs. I have a story about him where I was waiting in the rain and he didn't even sign my piece, which sucked. That's for another day, Mark. So now I'll never get a signature from Mark Webber again, unfortunately for myself i don't really want it after the story i've got the bad experience and yeah so guys tell me in the comment section down below if you guys have a signed kimi raikkonen in peace who the hardest driver you guys have ever gotten signatures from if you have a signatures from drivers and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next formula one video thank you